Jeffrey Petrie, the man, the myth, the red-eyed legend. Have you ever sat back and just put his interviews on mute and pretended that he sounded like Mickey Mouse? <sighs> I'm definitely guilty of this. Anyway, with Shea Weber's contract getting dished off to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for Big Daddy Nav, there's still quite a bit of work to be done for Kent Hughes, okay? He's gonna be busy. I think we're gonna see a couple of more trades during this offseason, and one of them has to be Jeff Petrie. There's no other way around it. Why? Because it makes sense for both Jeff Petrie and the Habs. For the Canadians, it could potentially give them some much needed cap relief. You know, they've still got a lot of guys to be signed and no money to do it with. And then for Jeff Petrie himself, I mean, he's already requested a trade. His family doesn't even live in Canada anymore. He only gets to see them like once every nine months and then when he does, bam, she's pregnant. That's okay. You know what I mean? Petrie is gonna have his own little heart foundation. He's gonna be just like Stu Hart. And for that, I'm proud of him. Anyways, according to sources around the NHL, the Jeff Petrie trade talks are starting to ramp up a little bit. Jeez, it sounds like he could be gone any minute now. Pierre Lebrun, lots of fun, recently made some comments saying that he suspects four to five teams are interested right now. And here are the teams that we know so far. Number one, the Detroit Red Wings, okay? Of course, the Petrie family has quite a bit of history over there in Detroit, so it only makes sense that he continues to be linked to Detroit. Number two, the Dallas Stars are another team that's said to be interested. This one also makes a lot of sense, but of course it depends on the whole John Klingberg situation. Friggin' uh, Bugs Bunny over there. And coming in at number three, I've also heard some ramblings that maybe the Philadelphia Flyers could be another team that's interested in Jeff Petrie. Somehow he's a wanted man right now. Teams are beginning to panic, and that's a good thing, you know? It gives Kent Hughes a little bit of an advantage. He can just sit back and select the best package available. And you know what? We gotta give Jeff Petrie some credit here. Because if he didn't pull his head out of his ass last season when he did and turn things around, the list of teams that are showing interest in Petrie right now wouldn't even be thinking about it. Wow, he looked terrible at the beginning of last season. He had only six points in his first 38 games, but then in the back half he would go on to muster up 20 points in 29 games at one point before closing out the season. And you gotta admit, when Petrie's on his game, meh, he's good. He's stealthy. He's as sneaky as a shithouse rat. He's got a wicked wrist shot that he can use to score from just about any angle. And the most impressive thing of all about Petrie is his skating. He's like Chaz Michael Michaels out there. You can almost call him Jeffrey Jackson. I don't think the Canadians are going to have much trouble selling him. I think it's going to be done. And I think it's going to happen soon. But the big question is, what is his value right now? I've been siphoning through a bunch of trade proposals online that fans have made up and so help me god they're horrible, they're overvaluing him, they'd trade him for McDavid but they want the Oilers to throw in dry side as well. It doesn't make any sense. And if a team is interested the very first thing that they're gonna have to take into consideration is his contract. Because wherever he goes, he still has three years remaining on his contract at 6.25 million per. That's what I like to call quite a chunk of change. If you were to ask me what I'd want in return, pfft, I'd just be happy enough to get him off the cap. If they can trade Jeff Petrie's salary without getting another big stupid contract in return, then that's a win. Go ahead, do it. If anything, grab a couple of draft picks for 2023, or uh, even a prospect, something. A box of Oreo cookies, double stuffed. Now that would be wicked. They've gotta keep getting younger. They've already got this youth movement thing going on here. And hey, in a few years, all these picks and prospects are all gonna come together like bologna and potatoes. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. And there's gonna be a lot of excitement going on throughout the summer, from the draft to the trades. 
I wouldn't even be surprised if Jeff Petrie was moved to another team this week. And again, while he did have a shitty start to last year's season, when he does go, try and remember the good things about him, okay? Don't ever forget that he was an absolute steal for the Canadians since he's been here. I'm gonna miss his skating, I'm gonna miss his wrist shot, his uh, toughness, <laughs> just kidding. And I'm sure wherever he goes, he's gonna make a lot of nice plays, and he's gonna make a lot of babies. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. How valuable is Jeff Petrie right now? How much do you think he's worth? Do you think he's worth a first round pick? A second? McDavid? Cookies? Anything? Let me know all about it. Don't forget to gently push the like button like Jeff Petrie would do if it ran into the goaltender. And hey, I'll see you next time.